Uh, guess what? It's in the 80s in San Diego, says Dr. Mom. Sw uh, swamp Rat told Stu, she said hi. Oh, okay, great. Uh, Stu's show is a great show with backstage stories of stars of the past. Uh, cooling down from the 60s. Ooh. Well, look at that old-timey projector. Wow. That was like a slide projector, wasn't it, Jamma B? Uh, no. I think that... Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, people can't see it because we're not on the stream. Let me put this on the stream so people can see what you're talking about. Uh, TriCaster. There. So, this is... Uh, where Kim is sitting these days, that thing above there is some kind of projector. I don't think it's a slide projector. It's more professional, I think. Actually, I... Well, I, I no, uh, I, I meant slide like those great big slides they used in school for lectures. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go investigate. I'll go look at it. Okay. I've never really looked at it. You know, it's, just, okay. it's just a set piece. Uh, anyway. Logan 5, uh, the city officially got... Uh, Central Park got like... 8.9 inches. A little a little showed him 9 inches of snow. So it's not so bad. Jersey got uh, a lot. And Connecticut. I'm not sure it's an overhead projector. No, it's definitely not an old no, zero. No, not machine. overhead. No. No. If that was overhead, I would not sit under it. Okay. We're getting a dusting here in New Hampshire. Is it a set piece or can you move it around? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of massive. It's actually pretty heavy. But yeah. Of yeah, course, I can, can imagine. Can I can imagine. Oh, um, oh, you know that you're so funny that you said that, Captain J. Because Dennis asked me that very same question. When I was in grammar school, the desk had an inkwell in it. Well, I mean, it had a black hole that was black. And I assume that that was an inkwell when, I guess, kids used, uh, I, I guess, there was ink in them at one time because it was badly stained. Uh, what, the projector in the what the heck is it? A prototype TriCaster. That's very funny. Well, you know, I should I should have showed Leo, but it's radio. That little projector, little projector is just this big. Huh. It is really neat. And it runs also, on AC or or battery. Battery. It runs on it runs on USB. Oh, cool. Uh, and once you but charge it's it, you. Yeah, you can take it out. Oh, well, you saw me. We right. walked through the you, park. You said with like it. eight hours or something. Yeah, uh, six to seven hours. Ah. And it, it's really neat. And the little timer, if you're running a party, it has uh, the little timer. The little remote control has a timer at the bottom, so you can set it for the number of hours you want it to run. And there are, I haven't played with all the programs. There's three auto programs. There's three auto audio programs and you can pick the speeds of each of the programs like i said it, it is a lot of uh, technology for the money <laughs> when i did when i told when i was doing i just had a starburst on the ceiling and that uh, back in the houseboat and that was probably uh, i think the lights were Three or four hundred dollars, but the controller to make the lights dance, that was eight hundred to a thousand dollars. And this outshines that a hundred times over. Just amazing. And the whole thing is six watts. So, Dick. Yes. Uh, let's see what this is. I, I bought something. Oh, that's kind of big. Let me start it down. Uh, let's see. Probably 15 years ago, the. Griffith, uh, Griffith Observatory Planetarium in Los Angeles at Griffith Park. They were closed for like five years. They did a massive remodel. It's crazy. They lifted the building up and they built a huge galley, gallery underneath. And then they put the building back down. You know, they went wow. from like uh, 
say, 2,000 square feet of exhibit hall to, like, 10,000 square feet with the big and a, and a, a theater, the Leonard Nimoy Theater in the basement. Anyway, um, when we went to visit and they had, they had, now they had a shop, they had a store, and I bought this thing called Laser Stars. And I just pulled it up on Amazon. It looks like there's a 2021 version. It was like $180. And uh, let's see, is this, is this thing? Although, and now, oh, currently. <clears throat> it says currently unavailable, but I'm sure it is no longer $180. But I bought no, one of I'm these sure things not. from the Griffith Park, Griffith Park Planetarium, Griffith Observatory. And uh, it was in the last time I saw it was in the basement of the brick house. <laughs> and I haven't seen it. Oh, 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 oh that's so funny. I haven't seen it since, uh, since we moved out of the brick house. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Wow, you can have blue or green clouds or mix them. I was just reading the description. Yep, wow. That's exactly what it has. Wow. All right, let me get rid of that so we can The projector might be a magic lantern from the Victorian era. Ooh. All right. You. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Let's see. I've got the recordings running. We are on the stream. I can say hi okay, everybody. I'm put this up here cuz at yeah. some point I'm going to turn this on just for Uh me. So, Let's do a show. Okay. This is the Giz Fizz for Saturday, the 12th of February, 2022. This is episode 463. And it begins. Wait a minute. I'm going to make sure it begins. All right. <laughs> and it begins. In three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. <laughs> Now with double harp and overhead laser lights. Ooh. Uh, okay, so this is Giz Fizz. We're going to do photos from George Davis that you'll caption. I'll shut my overhead projector here. Uh, we're going to do snappy answers to stupid questions. You're going to write them. Al Jaffe will give us the subject. Um, we have a semi chat room celebrity of the week because Myra Joyce, uh, she has a threshold of 32 degrees. She doesn't leave the house unless it's above 32. Let me just pick another camera here. Uh, I'm on Zoom and on Zoom you get to pick lots of cameras. Let's see if we go to that one. Oh, okay. There you are, Myra. Uh, uh, uh. No, this is uh, leaning this way. That's it. <laughs> Show the hair. All right. So Myra said her hair was halfway down her back. And now she had it cut today. Uh, yep. uh. And what did you do the five or six weeks you stayed home and didn't leave the house? Um, I didn't leave the house. You did I, leave the I did nothing. Um. Yeah, no, pretty much nothing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. What did I, I don't. That was it. I think that was it. I don't. I don't really think I did anything. Okay. Um, interesting. Played with your cats. I played with my cats. I ate a lot. Oh, okay. Um, had cl Zoom school. You had Z you, Zoom school, Zoom classes. Oh, gym classes. No Zoom. Classes. Oh, Zoom, Zoom class. Oh. Yeah, I take a class at Columbia. So the first. Well, wait a minute. You actually go to a school to learn how to use Zoom? No. <laughs> oh, 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 you did no. it over. Classes were on, on, Zoom. on Zoom. Okay, okay. So I ordered classes at Columbia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there a lot to learn about Zoom? Not, no. There's nothing to learn about Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we do. It's a class. It's a not class. Not on Zoom. It's on Zoom, but it's not. It's not on Zoom. The class. The, the class is not about Zoom. Correct. Oh, okay. What's the class about? Oh, okay. So the 
This class is called The Odyssey of Odysseys, and it's in the classics department. Wow. And it's about um, contemporary literature that has themes from Homer's Odyssey, and it's a seminar class, so we talk about it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I guess Alfred E. Newman was never mentioned. Alfred E. Newman, um, no. No. <laughs> no. I, I'll bring it up next time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, anybody have a question for Myra? Tech Dino, uh, Dino is very impressed. Is that uh, my haircut is neat or the Odyssey? Oh, yeah, no, we saw, we actually watched the Homer Simpson Odyssey thing um, for, for a class assignment, actually. So, and that was really funny because the Simpsons are hysterical. And, oh, so you like my hair? My hair feels much, I feel much lighter. It's great. Um, Oh, Brother, Where I Thought, that was also, that was like our first week's assignment was to watch and then discuss Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou. Um, there's also a thing on the Odyssey by the Teletrubies, T-E-L-E-T-R-O-U-B-I-E-S, on, um, on YouTube, and it is hilarious, so I recommend it. If you find it, <laughs> no, not tell it. No, not, not tell it. Tubbies, though. I thought it was tell at first, too. But it's tell it Trubies, T R O U B, like Troubadours. Um, yeah, can you? Uh, yes, I can share the link. And was there homework? There was homework. There was homework. There's homework every week. Wow. So we have to do wow. a lot of reading, and it's fun. But this is, and actually, last semester I took, um, like molecular and cellular immunology and which was really great because that was I mean I'm a neuroscientist so this was like my area my area of expertise wow so wait was, a minute you're what kind of scientist I'm a neuroscientist you knew that holy cow yeah okay. so anyway so at this point for literature and humanities classes I'm sort of out of my oh. element but okay. Last semester in immunology. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> I, I was very much in my element and very comfortable. Well, Monsieur. Thank yeah. you, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis Wonderland. Bonsoir. Roaming in the back. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Dennis. So nice to see. You. They already gave me ice cream. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, okay, you can, I'll you eat it. Skinny, skinny. I am skinny. I'm losing weight. Am... My, my was trying to lose weight. Then it's just brought in the second, second ice cream okay. bar. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will now go to photos from George Davis. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. Mr. Dave said, can you describe in 30 words or less what a neuroscientist is? Okay. That's one word already. All right. Two words. Um, I, what, when I did research, I looked at, nerves, at right? neurons. Yeah, neurons in the brain, um, inter, uh, neurotransmitter interactions in areas of the brain, that are involved in schizophrenia and drug addiction. Holy cow. I'm impressed. <laughs> and and ha when do you use that? I don't use that anymore. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, now I design websites. Oh. <laughs> I do fix websites. Okay. So. Well, that was fascinating. That was really interesting. The, um, that blow it on the camera here, this is one of those... I think we did it for Giz uh, Whiz. What kind of a camera can you get for twenty dollars? And you're looking at it. Actually, the center of the thing is not bad for a twenty dollar uh, webcam. Uh, so let's just go back to. Then um, there we go. Okay, so now time for photos from George Davis that you will caption. And here is photo number one. Oh, banana, just bananas. Lots and lots of bananas. Some in bunches, 
I guess they're all in bunches. Bunches of bananas as far as the eye can see. Yes, we have no bananas. Bananarama. Uh, this photo is nuts. Going nuts for bananas. This is bananas. Bananas have mess appeal. Give me a hand. I guess that's give me a hand. Yes, we have no bananas. Yes, we have some bananas. Another Bananarama. Banana for scale. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, really appalling. Monkey heaven. I was nuts. Now I've just gone bananas. Trap for a minion. We have some bananas today. Afghanistan, banana stand. <laughs> this picture is very appealing. The, oh, so, oh, they're going so fast. I think we're missing one banana. Left my password in there somewhere. This picture is appealing. That's bananas. Oh, yes. We have no bananas. Uh, aren't you glad you didn't say banana again? Uh, yes, we have bananas. King Kong's treasury sta treasure stash. Must be from the banana boat. Find the golden banana. Yes, we have lots of bananas today. Uh, banana na. Photos we have no bananas today. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Monkeying around. Mellow yellow. This show is brought to you by the color yellow, says Becky. You could slip and fall down on that pile for a lifetime. Banana splits in the wild. And we'll end with Caesar who says, This is how we play King Kong. Uh, okay, and George said, for the bunch of bananas, my caption is, for 17 years at Trader Joe's, we've been selling bananas for 19 cents rather than four or five connected together. The reason is an elderly lady said she might not live long enough to eat five of them. And that is a true fact. <laughs> okay. Couldn't they just leave the bunches of banana and leave like, Two separate bananas for the old people? Anyway. Uh, okay. Photo number two. Uh, tons of gourmet soda. I don't recognize one brand. Okay. It's a supermarket shelf loaded with what I will call gourmet soda. Artisanal. Coke or Pepsi, artisanal soda. What is that? Veal cutlet soda? I, what a oh, real cola. Okay. Um, let me look up here. Target sells bananas for twenty-one cents. Something to wash down those bananas. I see Virgil. I see Virgil's root beer. Uh, I don't see any banana soda. How would you like a pop in the mouth? Fizzy pops. I feel like I'm at work, says Sal Goff SD. Uh, where is Hank's cream soda? What? No dad's root beer? Moxie shortage in Maine. The shells before COVID. Soda bar with a punch. That's a lot of combination. Overstock section at Whole Foods. <laughs> Okaru says, I'll take whatever mixes best with vodka. Pre-COVID, yes, we have no pop. If you can only, you can only pick one. On the bottom shelf, the closest brand is the Savita Sweetened Soda, Caffeine Heaven. 99 bottles of Coke on the wall, except there are, there is no Coke. Um, you got milk? <laughs> Which of these go well with tequila? All. I said I was looking for Yoda, not soda. We need Mentos, Kool-Aid, anyone? And clean up root beer aisle. It's all banana peels. And we'll end with Merce Angel. Do you mean it's not your father's root beer? I used to love those drinks. Okay, let's see. George said, for the many varieties of soda, my caption is... You'll be guaranteed to find your favorite soda here at our store. We have the state's largest selection. Uh, 
Okay. I don't see, I don't see A and W root beer. That's my favorite soda. Um, okay. Uh, photo caption number three. A photo number three, rather. You caption it. Uh, there's an iPhone and an iPad side by side iPhone and iPad side by side. Um, meet my son. Oh, that's funny. Not Android. Screen envy. Meet my i son. Oh, that's funny. J286 says i son and i dad. Luke, I am your father. Small i. Mini me. I family. My iPhone and my iPad and I paid. iPhone, iPad, you pay. <laughs> Two electronic gadgets I will never own. Discontinued. Tablet had a baby. Two iBricks. Yeah, I only got two emails. What about you? This is the tech version of Mutton Jeff. Apples of my eye. iPad, iPod, i everything. Tired of the iPad, there's a nap for that. Will I ever grow up to be like you? Doug M says, look, no headphone jacks. Escape iPad from the mother ship. <laughs> That's funny. King Kong's phone versus a normal phone. Igloo. Look, Dad, I hold more icons than you. Very observant. And we'll end with I crap. Now in two sizes. All right. Let's see. George said, for the iPhone and the iPad, my caption is, I use the iPad as a tool to capture each week's photos for all of you to caption. Makes my job easier, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, photo four. Oh, my God. An adorable puppy. One of those puppies with the head cocked to one side like, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Adorable puppy. I dog. <laughs> Anybody have any other ideas? Cute. Take me home. There's another. Is that an I dog? Puppa headshot. I puppy. You said dinner is when... Well, maybe I did pee on that. Did some say walk? Charlie's grandson. Throw the banana already. The cutest woofy. Charlie's date. Have you seen my iPad? I work to look this cute. Time for dinner. This photo is breaking dick from its cuteness. Are you adopting me or what? Got a treat? Speak. Which way to the puppy bowl? Uh, I just peed on your shoe. <laughs> you only got one banana? What was I supposed to not pee on? Give it up. You're not going to out-cute me. Is that a mouse jiggler I can nibble? I ate the iPhone and the iPad. So you're going to keep those bag of treats for yourself? I want a cat. What are you looking at? No, you may not have my poor prince. He's a tripod. Where's my juke box? Juice box. No one, nothing can stop this dog. I woof. Walkies when? And we'll end with Logan 5. The first three-legged dog. We can only see three legs. But I've seen several three-legged dogs in the park. They do incredibly well. Uh, for the very cute puppy, George said, my caption is, one simple question for you to answer. Do you want to be my new friend? Okay, uh, photo five. Oh, payday a twit. Now do you want photo to be my new friend? <laughs> yeah. Oh, piles of $100 bills in piles. Piles of piles of money. All $100 bills. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Payment for the bananas. 
take the money and run. That's how much that doggy cost. What I sold all those bananas for. 0. 0.00042 Bitcoin. Are they real? Gimme, gimme. Whoops, I dropped my wallet. How much dick was paid for Hawking Laser Light Show? Those are actually boxes of candy from Al Capone's vault. What can I say? It was just lying around. Who says crime doesn't pay? <laughs> Johnny Monday says, just paying my cable bill for the month. <clears throat> What's in Leo's Bitcoin wallet? Who says Bitcoin when I can make it rain? Someone found their Bitcoin password. Now I can afford an iPad. My magic trick was changing the bananas. I'll buy all the bananas and soda for a ball for the dog. Money to buy the world's most expensive gadgets. And we'll end with Travis MC. Average mortgage, mortgage payment here in California. Okay, and George said, for the piles of money, this is what you want to get after you reach your goals as a neuroscientist. <laughs> and no, he didn't add that part to it. Speaking of just paying my mortgage, did you get your Con Ed bill? You have Con Ed power? Um, yes. Did you look at your bill? Um, yes. Was it? No. No. My my Con Ed bill is very low. You sh you sure you didn't look at your new bill? There was, I was looking at my bill, and then I happened to turn on Channel Seven, and there were people freaking out. My bill last month was two hundred and twenty nine dollars, and this month it was three hundred and seventy. Wow. One person, their bill was 129 and their new bill was 625 And ABC sent the crew to Conrad <laughs> and Conrad said, we do not generate any electricity. We just buy it. And the price of us buying it went up 67%. And so it's on your bill. She didn't add the last part. She just said... Uh, and the cost of us buying it went up 67%. Yeah, Dennis's bill uh, also went from 180 to 300 and something. Our co-op. Um, oh. We, we oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so we're bearing the brunt of Myra living like a king. Um, okay. Uh, Welsh lad said electricity going up 54% in the UK. Well, no, we have gas heat, but the building pays for the gas heat. But it was freaking cold, and uh, I must admit, uh, I used an electric heater a lot during dinner. Not during the night, but during, I had an electric blanket for the night. Um, uh, okay, and our final... Oh, did we do... Oh, yeah. Okay, photo number six. Oh, wow. This is Myra right before her Zoom class. All right, photo number six is uh, a young girl thinking about her dreams and overhead or innovation sales, customer planning, performance marketing, strategy goals, teamwork, and then she left this background and started waiting on tables. Okay. Um, the dreams of a girl who wants to be very successful. Oh, toss, tossing a word salad. What's with all these voices in my head? Oh, Karu, everything that's a bit out of reach... She just woke from her dream, jiggling her daily itinerary. That's very good. Uh, business on parade. She juggles the finances. That's very good. Ranger Rick. Word juggling. A lot of juggling stuff. Uh, and to think I can't balance my checkbook. Tangled up in the web again. Uh, me as an unemployed person. This is what we'll sell instead of an actual product like electricity. <laughs> Buzzword juggling, 
grad fought in the job matrix. She's caught in a spider's web of salesmanship. These drugs work very well. If my lotto numbers hit, I can ignore all this crap. Man, the brownies were really special. Needs root beer to drown out the voices. In another 40 years, she'll have all the money from the last photo. What happened to the bottom half of me? All this weight lifted off my shoulders. Captain J says, it's raining vowels. None of these words solved Wordle. <laughs> it's raining words and we'll end with Black Rock. Forget all that. I'm going to the bar. Okay. Uh, George said, for the uh, George describes this as a young college girl thinking about her plans in life. Wow. My caption is, you put all these things in order and the last photo, number five, that was all the money, will be your just reward. Okay, George ends with, here is this week's super, super, all in caps, amazing fact. The oldest still operating hotel is in Japan. What? Founded in 705 AD. It's still in the hands of 52 generations of the same family. Oh, and I sent John a photo. Well, they really knew how to build hotels back in 705 A.D. Amazing. Okay. Um, but do they have Wi-Fi? I don't think in 7, 705 A.D. Uh, George, thank you very much. George ends with time to say goodbye. Enjoy your week. Bye from George. Thank you, George. Uh, okay, uh, um, we're going to do some logo. And, uh, um, let's see. Boy, I don't know this. Product. What product is that? What? Oh, I know what oh don't say it. What product is that. Oh, Captain Jay said it's been called Buddha Bread and Breakfast. I don't know if he's kidding or not. Oh, it's cheese. Yes, George was on last week. Baby Bell Cheese, Bon Bell Cheese, Pokemon Babel Cheese. <laughs> this is Pokemon Eating Cheese, House in the Middle Paint logo. Laughing cow. Well, everybody's on to some sort of cheese. It is. Oh. Well, we'll give it to. It's mini baby bell. But everybody who said baby bell, you were correct. Baby bell. How is the mini baby bell cheese sold? This I know. This I know. Because when I first saw it, I thought, what? How is mini baby bell cheese sold? For money, by the ounce, in a mesh bag, several in a bag, net bag, by the ball of the bell, in mesh bags, on little wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it sold hockey puck size. It sold over the counter. It sold by train lemurs. It sold in sacks. It sold in the baby aisle. <laughs> sold from the back of a truck. Uh, it sold all waxed. It sold at street rate. We know our baby bell cheese. It's sold by the puck. It's in the bag. Gemma B, do you know how Baby Bell, mini Baby Bell cheese is sold? Uh, they're in like uh, net net bags, the plastic kind of net bags. I don't that know, what do correct. you call that? Yes, red net bags. Very good. 
Um, uh, um. Yeah, that's too dull. Okay. How could anybody answer this? I'll ask it anyway. Maybe if uh, Johnny Jet was here. What cruise ships, what cruise ship company owns these two ships? Actually, they're way out of focus. Sorry about that. I mean, there's no way you can tell, so we'll just skip this. Um, uh, no. Uh, okay, oh, wait, here's an, uh, I'm not saying you're stupid. Oh, this is interesting. What percentage of the 16 billion cigarettes smoked each day globally end up on the ground? Okay, we're looking for a percentage. What percentage of the 16 billion cigarettes smoked daily end up on the ground? I don't see it too much in the city now because a lot of people gave up smoking. But boy, years ago, people would just flip cigarettes, throw them everywhere. Um, I bet it's still high. Um, I am going with 46%. Myra? I think it's like 90. Wow, I'm at 46. Myra's at 90. But you can't smoke indoors. Oh, 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 Myra's got an interesting point. You can't smoke indoors, so everybody's out. Uh, Stooge is at 77. Mike Mann's 65. 65 for Giz 1. Jamma B, you are saying? 80%. 80%. I'm way low here. Blotman said 88. Wow, Mike B, 84. Okay. Percentage of 16 billion cigarettes smoked each day end up on the ground is... Oh! Stooge, you're closest that I can see. What was your answer, Jamma B? 80 80. Okay, Stooge is closest of what I can see. He has 77, and the answer is 75%. That's a lot. Three out of every four cigarettes smoked is on the ground. Wow. Oh. God, I can only think of two. How many foods can cause a, a, a allergic reaction? How many kinds of foods or how many foods can cause allergic reactions? Well, must be a bunch of them. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going with I'm going with 35. Because there's got to be a lot of weird stuff. All of them. 50%, 90, what? 11%, 90%. Mar, what's your answer? All of them. All of them? How many foods can cause allergic reaction? Wow. Jamma B? 311. <laughs> Approximately. <laughs> okay. Wow. 35%. All right, how many foods can cause allergic reactions? We're looking for a number. What was your answer, Jim V? 311. Oh, uh, you're halfway right. The answer is um, 160 kinds of foods cause allergic reactions. Mm. Oh, I didn't even know this. France was the first country to introduce license plates for cars. In what year? France was the first to introduce license plates for cars. In what year? That's your answer? I'll go, okay. Dennis says 1927. Myra? Um, um, oh, oh, 
Oh, wow. They're going in the 1800s. That's cool. Before cars. Yeah. <laughs> help me out, Jammer B. Oh, well, help everybody out. What year was the Model T? Nin- oh, uh, 1906. I don't know. Something 1906. like that. 1906. All right. So I'll say they were ahead of us. Okay. I'm going with 1902. Mario, you have a guess? Um, yeah, 1925. 1925. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's but what that... I was going to guess. Oh, okay. So I was going to say 1927. My... All right, 1920, okay. Uh, let me look up here. 1910, Milkman, 1914, Geek Wannabe, 1917, Becky, 1899, Giz One, 1920s, La Annie. 35. Eric Duckman said car was invented in 1885. But, I mean, they didn't have license plates. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What year did France become the first country to introduce license plates for cars? 1893. 1890. Uh, You know, a couple of people had 1800. This was a preemptive. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. How many passengers can be aboard Air Force One? How many passengers <laughs> does Air Force One hold? <laughs> All right, so you know there's the deluxe accommodations for the president and then there's a whole press section. So in total, how many passengers? No, oh, it's got to be more than 33. 48. Let's see, the press, there's always a bunch of them, 20. I'm going to say, oh, and a Secret Service. I'm going with 50. Oh, Cynthia says 52. Okay, wow. Jamma B, how I'm many I'm going with Salty passes? Corn Bar, 100. 100. Myra? 175. 175. Dennis? Dennis says, who cares? <laughs> Dennis says, who cares? Okay. All right. The total passenger capacity of Air Force One. What did you say? 175. Oh, uh, no. And Jamma B, what did you say? 100. Oh, 102. No, that's close. That's close enough. Salty Corn Dog also said 100. Don't forget the KFC delivery guy. That's very funny. The who? One of them said, don't forget the KFC delivery guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the KFC delivery guys, they're 36, but they have to leave the plane when it takes off. And, of uh, course, we're not counting the fake news reporters. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right, I want to get a, a drink of soda, which is here. So let's play a few um, car commercials. What, what kind of commercials do you have, Jim and B? I got Old-timey miscellaneous cars and beer. Deer? Beer. Oh, beer. Let's do miscellaneous. <laughs> Some miscellaneous commercials, and then we'll do a stupid answer and then match game. Da, da, da. Now wait, don't tell me. Was it Hong Kong? Beirut? Cairo, perhaps. <laughs> Guess again, Commander Whitehead. London, it was London. I'll give you a hint. Well, Commander Whitehead you is. A tonic, and you were warning the waiter to make jolly well sure he mixed it with Schweppes. But that might have been anywhere. Schweppes quinine water is famous all over the world. In those days, you used to say it was impossible to mix a tonic without Schweppes. It still is. No other mixer has Schweppes bitter sweet flavor and rare effervescence. Effervescent? You used to call those little bubbles Schweppervescent. Schweppervescent, of course. Those remarkable little bubbles that last the whole drink through. Did you know that Schweppes quinine water is now bottled here in the States from the imported elixir? Oh, but do tell me, where did we meet? Was it Paris? The Council of Arts. They've 
left their fields and barns. They're marching from the farms because kids don't drink enough milk. Hershey's Instant makes milk taste like a Hershey bar. It's fortified with vitamin <laughs> C1, C, D2, and iron. The kids are happy. They're drinking their milk. The cows are going back home. Hershey's Instant makes milk taste like a Hershey bar. Because Beechnut caters to your baby's taste, he eats better, now, gets more Schlitz nutrition. For, babies. for example, in baby strain Beechnut orange juice, so rich in vitamin C, oranges are gently it's squeezed a screwdriver to keep out excess with a nipple. To make sure your baby likes the taste, the baby over 2,000 babies derived. test Beechnut baby foods. Beechnut takes this extra 1, care of all its like wide I variety. love it. It says more Cereal, than 2,000 babies foods, tested it. Didn't say what the results were. Your baby likes the taste and of Beechnut. And only better. half Eat got better. sick. With better nutrition, your baby's healthier, you're happier. That's the Beechnut feeling. The good, warm feeling that comes with happier mealtimes. For better nourishment, Beechnut caters to your baby's taste. Oh, we could end there. Oh, that was good. That's great fun. Okay, we're going to do a snappy answer, or you're going to do a snappy answer, okay? And we'll see if we match Al Jaffe's answers in the book. All right, the scene is, let me just cover Al's answers. So the scene is a house surrounded by cops with bullhorns, and the crooks are standing outside the house waving white flags, and the cop yells through the bullhorn, are you giving up? And their gangsters, snappy answers are, okay, cops with guns surrounding a house, gangsters waving white flags, and the cop says, are you giving up? And the gangsters reply, no, we're drying our laundry. No, we're showing you our underwear. No, we're drying our whitey tidies. Doing laundry. No soccer to me. Uh, boy, it's all laundry. No, waiting for uh, Uber. Notice the sale on white flags at Macy's. So that's good. No, we're ordering dinner. No, my tidy whiteys are white. Just drying my underwear. We're just serving the warrants. Another drying the underwear. No, we want to make a phone call. No, we're attacking with flags. That's funny. Uh, yes, come see our stamp collection. No, help us fold our laundry. Are you giving up? No, are you? No, we're bringing you surrender flags. Airing my undies. We're giving a baby shower. Want to join us? A ton of I'm drying my laundry. No, we're clearing the snack crumbs. Uh, we're flagging down the pizza delivery guy. No, we're selling t-shirts. No, we're hoping you'll shoot holes in our flags. No, we're renting out this hideaway. No, it's Memorial Day. No, we're flagging the race. There's just one more lap. No, I'm landing my 747. No, you're on candid camera. We're directing traffic. And we'll end with Merce Angel. No, it's time for fun with flags by Sheldon Cooper. Uh, okay, let's see what Jaffe put for his answers. 
Are you giving up? No, we're signaling with flags to ask if you're giving up. No, we're starting our own country and we're just testing our new flag. No, we've been doing a lot of crying and this is how we dry our hankies. All right, so drying was a match. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what time is it? Uh, um, oh, okay, 10 to 6. So we will play some match game. Uh, uh, um, let's see where I put them. Da -da. Alrighty, bum bum. Oh, for match game, I'm just going to have my. Oh, what did I do with my remote? Oh, I can't turn my machine on again because I. Here it is. It's going to make it more like a match game party. Uh, okay, woo, woo. Um, energetic Edner. Had so much energy. How much energy did he have? She had so much energy, she could screw a light bulb into her blank and it would light. I know, family friendly, if possible. Energetic Edna was so energetic. She could screw a light bulb into her blank and it would light. This is so easy to come up with a clean and... Oh, is Alex with us? Oh, he is. How about Burke? Is Burke with us? No Burke. No Burke. He doesn't come Saturdays anymore? He does not work on Saturdays anymore. That's correct. Oh, okay. But sometimes he comes. I mean, sometimes he shows up, but... Okay, okay. Well, when I'm short of mad, I can not send him one. <laughs> but I did send him one this time. Uh, bum, bum. Okay, we're going to start with Dennis. Energetic Edna had so much energy, you could screw a light bulb into her blank and it would light. Oh! Dennis said, ear. Dickie D said, ear. Oh, Myra said, ear. And Jamma B said, ear. Oh, okay. And Alex, she screwed a light bulb into her blank and it would light. Looks like you ran out of lead. <laughs> or is that ink? You ran out of ink. You can, you can just say it. You can just say it. Say that again? Her therapist. She screwed a she light so bulb into her therapist. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that landed with a thud. That was no good. Uh, okay. <laughs> because she has so much energy and she talks to her therapist and her therapist absorbs it all and now her therapist can generate. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. It was just a question, not a movie theme. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Harriet said, I just saw the weirdest wedding gown. The train was so long it had a blank. Edna said, I just saw the weirdest wedding gown. The train was so long it had a blank. Oh, I'm going to go... There are several good answers, but I think this will match. Let me look up. Uh, the train was so long it had a station, a coal truck, a caboose, a conductor, a railroad crossing, a red flag, saddlebag, different time zone, a crossing guard, a tail light, a hobo following, a sequel, a conductor waving a light, a scene after the credits? Uh, an end of train. Wow, EOT. End of train device. A crossing guard, red lantern. A sleeper car. <laughs> a train was so long it had a sleeping car. That's very funny. All right, Alex, we'll start with you. 
Harriet said, I saw the weirdest wedding gown. The train was so long, it had a bed. Okay. We'll match that with sleeper uh, jam- car. Yeah, that's a sleeper car. Absolutely. Uh, Jamma B. The wedding gown had a train so long, it had a caboose. Okay. Dickie D. Train was so long, it had a caboose. Myra. Oh, so long it had a platform. Okay. And then it said, uh oh, uh oh. The train was so long it had an ambulance? Okay. All right. And then the Greenpeace volunteer said, this river is so polluted. How polluted was it? I just saw a fish using blank. The Greenpeace volunteer said this river was so polluted. I just saw a fish using blank. A gas mask, hazmat suit. I just saw a fish using crutches, a scuba mask, a Brita filter, an aqua tank, a life straw, fishing rod, a gas mask, Calgon, a Zodiac, tin foil, not yet, Charlie, an electric car diver's mask, submarine. Uh, oh, we'll start with Dennis. Greenpeace volunteer said it's true. so polluted. I saw a fish using. <laughs> I think it's a match, but it's funny. Clorox wipes. Okay, Myra said so polluted. Oh, Myra got a match using. I saw just saw a fish using a hazmat suit. I saw a fish using scuba gear. Jamma B, you said a a life straw. You got a match too. And Alex, so polluted, see a fish using a snorkel. That's good. We'll match that with scuba gear. God, Jamma B, were you around when when we did life straw on? Oh my gosh! The kids with with Chad. <laughs> with Chad, we were going to the Petaluma River. Chad went down to the Turning Basin, which has got to be one of the most polluted places on Earth. And he got a pitcher of that water and he drank it, didn't he? Yeah, uh, Leo and Lisa were quite upset. <laughs> I think they, Leo and Lisa sent Chad to the doctor. But yeah, I think they did. They did. It's a blood work done. Uh, uh, but he, uh, anyway, it turned out that he was fine. Um, uh, um, dumb Dora was so dumb. How dumb? She thought, I can save t- time cooking a turkey dinner by stuffing the blank in there. <laughs> dumb Dora was so dumb. She said, I can sa- save time cooking the turkey dinner by sticking the blank in there. Okay, she's saving time cooking the turkey dinner by sticking the blank in there. I'm not sure I'm going to get a match. Oh, gravy's good. That was my second answer. Oh, pumpkin pill dessert. Oh, the cranberry sauce. These are good. Wow, someone didn't take any redacted. just said the rest of the meal. Potato salad. Lighter fluid. The guests. Hair dryer, dessert. Wow. Um, save time making the turkey dinner by stuffing by stuffing the blank in there. Boy, I got no matches. I said the sweet potatoes. <laughs> My oh, <laughs> must be an East Coast answer. Sweet potatoes and Dennis. This is good. Oh, 
<laughs> you got no matches. Then said, I just stuffed the oven in there. <laughs> Jamma B, she saved time by stuffing the turkey with the, a clock. <laughs> okay. And Alex, unhelpful husband. <laughs> Charlie, there's one more question and then it'll be Charlie time. Oh, my goodness. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, this is back when every place had a salad bar, okay? Bart said to his wife, the salad bar craze is going too far. I just saw a blank with a salad bar. Bert said to his wife, the salad bar craze is going too far. I just saw a blank with a salad bar. I have a great answer. I hope it gets some matches. Uh, let me look up. Oh, a strip club. That's good. Oh, and I got some matches. Gas station. A morgue. That's excellent. A turnpike toll booth. That's very good. That's good. A storage treatment plant. Stockyards. A taco truck, a Baskin Robbins, an elf, an outhouse, a dentist office. Uh, okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Bert said, the salad bar craze is going too far. I just saw a blank with a salad bar. A cemetery. That's very good. We'll give you some matches. Uh, Jamma B, I just saw a blank with a salad bar. A river? Okay. I, I got a match. Uh, I got, unexpectedly, I got a match. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I, I know I got a match. I saw a funeral home with a salad bar. Myra said to Charlie in a minute. Okay. I think you got a match, Myra. Dunkin' Donuts. Charlie, just a minute. And... Oh, then it said, I saw a salad bar with a salad bar. <laughs> uh, is it after six? Yeah, okay. All right, let's see. Charlie, calm enough, we'll do one more. Uh, um. All right. This was, this, this was one of those questions we sent in. Remember I told you we would send in filthy questions? Um, for the nighttime version because they told us that the, the questions can be a little m more risque because the show's on at night. So you would send in some really dirty questions so that the less the other ones would pass by. Okay. At the maternity ward, Paul said, our son is going to be an explorer. No matter how you lay him down, his Blank points north. At the maternity ward, Paul said, Our son is going to be an explorer. No matter how you lay him down, his blank points north. All right, I'm going to just go with the straight answer. Uh, oh, that's funny. Dr. Mom said, His teeny weeny. His nose, his big toe, his flagpole, his pencil, his head, finger, finger, pinky, hair, cowlick. Uh, okay, we're going to start with Jamma B. Paul said, our son's going to be a neighbor no matter how we lay him down, his blank points north. And Jamma B said, his neighbor? His pal, his pate. That's a part of your uh, head, right? The, the little yeah, I think it is. It's your hair, isn't it? The pate. That's where your hair is attached. Uh, uh, if you, you will fill with matches with fingers. His hand points north. Myra said. Oh my God! It's the scientist in her esoph his esophagus. <laughs> Yes, Charlie, you're next. You're next, Charlie. I know he's... I think I spelled it wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, you're next. How do you spell 
Oh, his compass. <laughs> I don't quite get that. Okay, and <laughs> compass, compass. They point north. Yeah, and um, Jeremy, what did you do? Say, uh, I said paint, but Alex is showing oh, his answer. Okay, Alex, you said hair. Okay. That answer was too hard to swallow. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. Hang on, Charlie. I'm going to shut this so you don't look into it. Uh, okay. It's time for. Charlie Beer. The, the Dog Celebrity of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Doggy Celebrity of the Week. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, boy, Charlie. Yay. Okay, Charlie. Oh, boy. Look at you, Charlie. Let the, let the, let the tail go. Let the tail begin. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that tail go. Oh, boy. Look at it. I'm a happy boy. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm happy about it. I am so happy to be on the show. <laughs> I should have done the wide shot with this. Next time I'll do the wide shot for Charlie. Charlie, the wide, yeah. Look at that boy, look at that boy. <laughs> yeah, the tail could generate electricity. The tail of the dog, Charlie Wagongood. <laughs> That's your last name, Charlie Wag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Charlie Wagongood. <laughs> Mr. Dave, harness that energy. Charlie's tail is pointing north and south. <laughs> Charlie Tuna Tail. Sir Charles, King of the Wags. <laughs> Charlie, you got lots of great nicknames. You got lots of great nicknames. Yeah, you had to That's very, <laughs> that's very funny, chat room. That's very funny. He does. When we were down in Riverside Park, and I was pointing it straight down. He was chasing the uh, laser dot, so I should probably get a little, uh, uh, get a, a, a laser pen, because he thought that was uh, pretty funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're back to Thursdays for the Gizwe Show. So we hope you'll join us on Thursday. And this has been regular... Old fashioned Giz Fizz. Ooh, with double hop. Regular old fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Myra Joyce, Jamma B, Alex, Beatmaster, Becky, Mr. Dave, Gumby, iTech, Geek Wannabe, Caesar. Tech Dino, Bill in Michigan, Okaru, Gumby, Jay Mez, Mike, uh, Mike Mann, Wes Zab, Stooge, Travis MC, Titus, if I missed them, they're going too fast, Loke, Logan 5, Welsh Lad, Giz 1, and Wizard of Oz, and Roberta Hellman. Okay, bye! Wow, we lost 25 cents on the Turtle Wax commercial. <laughs>